All right, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing if statements. Um, so let me see, let me zoom in here a little bit more. Oh, oops, there we go. All right, so um, standard for the most part, um, uh, you know, class definition and method setup. Um, let's see, we got a new variable type here the static boolean active active and we're setting that to false and what that means is that um, we have a we have a true and false uh, variable you know we could set active to be true we could set active to be false um, the name doesn't matter um, but uh, so that's that's what that is and then we have in two integer variables uh, a and B, one being seven and ten, as you can see, and so we're, now we're going to use these to conduct an if statement. So down you know, here we have if active. So if active, the variable active is true, then perform an action, and we're saying print A. Otherwise, and then we come down to the else, which is basically like otherwise or you know do this other thing. Um, or print B and so because active is set to false up here it printed 10 so that is why that happened and let me just see here I can create another variable static boolean uh, I don't know and then what you could also do here is you can add you can nest them or string them along uh, actually this isn't nesting uh, string them along so else if I'll explain nest, nesting in a minute um, else if what so you, you could just kind of go, is this true? No, okay, but is this true? Yo, and then it'll keep going, it'll keep falling down to the next thing till it either finds something that's true or, or it doesn't. So see, I'll compile that. No errors, okay, good. Uh, it's a little weird, you know, with the higher resolution. Not quite used to it yet. Um, oops. So it's still printed 10 because we said what to be true and it, it, if this right now functions just like in um, you know else but if we added you know uh, else you know, system dot out dot print line again and I won't make a variable for this but uh Neither were true, and then I'll just set this to be false up here. Also, just just so you know, variables aren't locked into being what one way or the other. You could you could come down and say, uh, you know, that that was true later on. So, I'll, I'll explain um, final and all that and uh, constants in a, in maybe this video. We'll see. Um, and so now we see that it said neither of them was true because neither of them are true and it just fell down through you know to this last if you know condition and it said if none of this was true then do this and it so it did that um, and I guess just you know unrelated what you can do if you really wanted active to always be false you could say uh, goes after the static static final and now, you know, even if I said, well, actually, that wouldn't execute. Uh, let me just see. Uh, let's see.
And then, so here's how you nest uh, if statements too. Um, so if, so it's basically an if statement inside of one. Uh, so it's like, you know, like nesting Russian doll, uh, the Russian nesting dolls. Um, so and then we're gonna just check to see if active is true again. And now we supposedly said it is. Uh, let's see. Oops, no. Now let's see what happens when we do that. Oops. Now watch. Cannot assign a va value to a final variable because we said that this, oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's up there more. I see it, there we go. Uh, we said that this is final and it can't change. So it's gonna give us an error. Whereas if we got rid of it, I'll get rid of that. Delete, go back up, recompile. No errors. And then so I'll run, where's my mouse? There we go. It said, neither's, neither were true, active is true, because we changed it. So that's that's really helpful, you know, in checking things and, you know, saying if the player was hit or something, you know, do do something, you know, or die or whatever, if you're making a game or whatever. And um, I'm going to probably segue soon into a game tutorial, maybe today, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so that's, that's, you know, conditional statements and... A little bit on final. Um, I'll, I'll go through this, but uh, you can also do constant. And also, if you wanted, say you wanted seven, uh, aid always equal seven, you could also do that, capitalize it, and those are always pretty much constant values. Um, and another thing is. You don't want to have like spaces between your variables. Uh, ooh, I should probably put that a back. All right. Um, so I'll go into more detail on these things next time.